Hey, have you wondered how to decorate a junk journal? Because there is a million different ideas out there. Everything from belly bands and pockets and flips and waterfall flips and who goes on and on and on. Okay. So today I thought I would help beginner out and show you how to make or how to decorate some basic pages. So we're going to start out with a simple collage. And then the next, we're gonna do a spread with a belly band and a simple pocket. And then there's also a couple other ideas I have further inside this junk journal. So come along and I'll show you how to do this. Again, I'm Lori, I'm the crafter in the mitten. We have so far with this junk journal, we've made the cover, and I made the signatures and sewn them in. And so now we're at the fun part, the fun part of decorating it. So with the ephemera in that, so to me, this is the funnest part. This is the whole reason of doing a journal or a junk journal. Um, you can see, because some of these pages were really plain, I went ahead and did some stamp work. I didn't figure, you know, I did some here. I didn't figure people would want to watch me sit there and do some random stamping. I can do some more stamping later, but I just wanted to kind of, I don't know, give this book a little bit of personality starting out of the gate just just a little bit so anyway so the next thing, thing we're going to do like I said is decorate so I thought I would start with this page here so for this page I was thinking maybe we could do a pocket and I know it's really plain here so I just thought we should dress that up so I have some scraps this is from a, another project, and I just think this paper is so cute. Anyway, so I thought maybe we'd make a pocket right here. And so, you can see there's some straight edges here, so I'm going to use my tear ruler and tear some of that off. In case you're wondering what kind of tear ruler this is, it's from Mem We Are Memory Keepers. So if you're interested in getting one yourself. And there's different edges. Like this is a really fine edge and this is more of a chunkier edge. There's actually two more that came with it. I got them right here. I'll show them so I'm thinking about it. And it's like a zigzag and a big zigzag. And this is like a wavy, like big waves and small waves. I don't know if you can see it. I'll draw that and I'll do it this way. You can see it better. There's the wavy one. Here's the zigzag one. And here's like more of a random shapes, but I use the smaller random shape um, the most. <laughs> I've used the other ones a couple times, but really I just stick with that one. All right. Oops, let me move these out of our way. Oops, <laughs> it wants to fall. There we go. All right, I'm going to tear this. All right, so we need about this size. So I'm going to take my pencil and mark that. Well, actually, I'm going to do something a little different. I'll show you what I like like to do sometimes just to give my my pockets a little wiggle room. I'm actually gonna tear this a little bit larger than I typically do. Or I mean a little bit larger than that page, I mean. So what I like to do is I'd like to to make a little fold here. It doesn't have to be very big, just a little bit on either side. I like to do, and sometimes you can do it on the bottom as well, but I don't think I'm going to do the bottom of this one because I want that rough edge. So, do it either way here. Bring this back over here. All right. That way, when you tuck something in here, it gives you just a little bit of um, flexibility there. A little bit of wiggle room. So, I'm going to use my very art precision glue. And like I mentioned in another video, this is very similar. I believe it's very similar, I should say, to 
um, glitter glue. I have never used glitter glue. I was wanting to purchase some, and this was like at the beginning of the pandemic, and I couldn't find it. And then I seen this, and I thought, oh, I'll try it. So far, I've been happy with it, so I'll probably stick with it. There we go. Oops, and I forgot to put glue on the bottom edge. <laughs> oh, no. I still got time to pull that up. Goodness gracious. Can't believe I forgot to do that. Okay, so that's our, our first little pocket. And I know it's still kind of plain. Like, oh my goodness, that is plain. I thought I would do. Because I like to go back to these journals later. And like with these stamping, I like to take colored pencils and color that in. Just, just to jazz it up. Just, like I like to do that like at night when I'm watching television and trying to unwind. Just something. I call it no-brainer stuff. <laughs> I'm still creative, but it's like I'm in like autopilot. So that's what I like to do there. And then here, on this side, I thought it would be kind of pretty. I don't know if it's going to clash with this or not. That page, I don't know. Maybe I should you know, try this. Because that kind of goes with this. Yeah, I think I'll do this one. Okay. So what I'd do is a belly band right here. And I'm going to do the same kind of little principle. I'm just going to fold that over just a little. And then, yeah, this one's kind of bitterful, but it doesn't matter. There we go. And this is what we refer to as a belly band. Now, you know how it kind of blends in? You can probably see that. It kind of looks like it's part, just part of the paper. So I'm going to ink that up. I've got two things to ink. I've got, whoop, I've got, um, what did I get? <laughs> I've got vintage photo, and I have this. Um, hickory smoke because I grabbed them both because some of these pages are more gray than brown and I thought well you can do it with a little gray so I think I'm going to do this one with gray just to show you because most people use the, the browns the vintage photo so I'm going to show you what it looks like just changing it up a little from other people to how they do it I like to be different I don't know if this one's going to work or not because it's pretty light. Mm, it might. Let's keep going. We'll just see if it doesn't. I'll just throw some vintage photo on it, right? <laughs> can always do that. okay yeah it stands out more I, I believe it does so we're gonna go with that Just a little belly band, a tuck spot. For those of you that aren't familiar, what, what in the world do you mean by a belly band? It's just kind of like a tuck spot. Like, say this is my journaling card, for an example. I could just tuck this in like this. Or tuck a photograph in, whatever you wanted to. And, of course, here's our pocket where you could stick a tag or whatever. Um, journal Journaling cards. So... That's what we can do with that. Now, I still think that's kind of on the plain side. So I'm thinking maybe one of these cameos. I have some cameos here. Um, a lot of these digital prints that you're seeing here, a lot of these are from my front porch. But I've kind of mixed it up with different peoples. Um, I think this artist is called Antiquia or something. If I can find the link, I'll, I'll put it below. But just so... Um, anyway, they're just different artists. So I thought what I would do, let's see, 
think this is going to, this is like really fine lace that could kind of, yeah, it just kind of blends in it. I mean, it might show up better on the camera actually than it does in real life, which is different. Um, let's see. I could, I wonder how this would work. This piece of paper here. This is left over from something I ripped. Ooh, that looks kind of cute. Yeah, that, that jazzes it up a little. Um, kind of a, like a homemade washi tape. <laughs> That's why I saved these. It's, you know, just, just kind of like a washi tape. So yeah, let's put that down. Yeah, I think that makes that stand out even better now. And then I still think it needs a little something in the center. It's just kind of bland. Okay. I'm looking for like a small, you know, something small. Got these mushrooms. I know it's not really a mushroom theme book, but the colors kind of go. I don't know what theme this is exactly. It's more like handwriting, a little bit of flowers, I thought. That's kind of my thing going on with that. I'm going to do something like this. Yeah, I got all these little, little, and all kinds of tiny little tags that have come with these kits, these printable kits. And so, I'll use some of that. And I also have, um, I, I also have a little bit of sheet music, so we could just tear that, mm, I don't know. Mm, let's try some. like that. It doesn't seem to go in. I'm not crazy about that little, um, that little label thing there. Oh, well, we'll go back to this. I'm not too worried about it. We can always go back and forth with things. And things aren't written in stone. And then I th thought, I think it was this one. It was one of these. Yeah, look. This one, huh? Okay. I thought I'd just make this a pocket. I think I said something about making this into a pocket when I was sewing in the signatures. So let's go ahead and make this into a pocket. Something different in the center there. And you can just, well, this is a little too small, but I'm just showing you. And then you can just tuck whatever you want in here. It would fit. This might fit. It's a little, a little wide. Yeah. But it, you, you get, the, you get my point on that. And then you can also decorate this one up by, you know, then you could put something like this in here on there. And on the outside of that pocket. Million of those things, and I would you think I could find it right now? No, of course not. You could even tear all this plain paper. Oh, yeah, that like that, or not plain graphic paper. Yeah, something like that wouldn't be bad either. I could put it in like this, just something to, to give it some kind of um, interest to it. So I'm going to do put that here. This itty bitty piece of sheet music. Now you might be wondering, wondering where did you get the sheet music? <laughs> I got this, I believe it, 
Goodwill. Um, it's actually a Baptist church hymnal. And at first I felt bad tearing pages out of it, but I thought, you know, that's just going to put a little good spirit in there, <laughs> in your jur in my journal. And, you know, just, I just thought, well, it's not the Bible, <laughs> but just putting a little bit of God's word, just a little bit in, in here or worship words, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. So anyway, that's why I figured, well, I can use that journal for that, or the hymnal for that. Because it was going to get, it was in one of those bins where it was like the last resort. If anybody didn't buy it, then the next day they would take and just dump them. I don't know what they do with them. If they burn them or just put them in landfill, I don't know what they do. But it, so I saved it. I'm giving it a new purpose, a new life. So I don't feel too bad about doing that. Okay, so this page here, I don't know if I'm going to do much with it. Because this is from a, um, it is from a calendar. I haven't grabbed two copies of it. Anyway, it's from an old local calendar. Um, well, it's 2020, but I'm at the pictures. It's like the history of the area. And so I thought they were really cute pictures. They're not newsprint, so it's not like good, great paper. But anyway, I just thought it matches my, a lot of the vintage themes. So I thought it just was cute. And it's some of the pictures are upside down because of the way the calendar is designed. But get something out of it because you can still kind of read what's going on um the stories here all right and then i was going to make a pocket out of this but i just changed my mind because i thought it'd be kind of cool just to use this as a journaling piece and then it's kind of secretive you could, just, you could cover that with like a little flipper or something Here, I want to do something with it, but I'm not sure yet what. I don't want something that's going to take my eye too far away. I could do something like that with some lace. And this I want to ink up with vintage photo. Sounds from the paper. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. And I have some lace here. Let me see. Grab a little bit of this. See what it looks like. Maybe do something like like that. Put that over it like that. And then we could uh, let me grab one of these. One of these um oh my goodness. These cameos. You could do something like that, because uh, like, that's not really, uh, what do you want to call that? Make that my main image. That's not too bad. Like that. Of course, I'll take this tape off of it. That's not too bad. Something like that. This is the hardest part, I think, is trying to figure out what you want to put on each page. Now, sometimes I pre-make things so I can just grab some pre-made things and just put them on my pages. Um, I don't know what I do with them. Anyway, <laughs> we can just do them here. Or, let's see. Would it be better to use a smaller one? Might be a little better to do a smaller one, I think. Okay, let's try this. I'm not going to overthink it. You sit there and you think, think, think. Oh, my goodness. Take all the fun out. You overthink it too much. That's what I think, at least. So this this lace on. How about the same, probably the same width here? Doesn't matter if it's a little short. Let's cut that edge off. Oh, I think I need to cut out a tiny bit more off of that. Just a little too much. Yeah, there we go. That looks 
Okay, let me just take some of this. This other lace that I showed you that was real fine and delicate. Just to give it a little bit more texture and interest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's glue her down. Just a little dabs of glue here and there. I think it will be okay. Let that look a little. Just to tuck that under there. Yeah. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it a little on the messy side. I just want kind of or you know, or, yeah, more of an organic look. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. I have more cameos. I wonder if there'd be one that would look better. My goodness, I'm trying to get to them. Yeah. Keep gravitating to the. I got like double copies of these somehow or another. I printed them. I forgot I printed them or something. I don't know what I did. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just trying to think. That one's is that I don't know, is that one too big? Oh boy. What do you guys think? Like I can hear you, right? I think I'll go with this one. Doesn't she kind of look like Snow White? Walt Disney drawing a Snow White. Every time I look at that one, I think of Snow White. So this is just a decorative page. When you first open up the book, you have something decorative to look at. Not every single page has to be something you uh, you journal on or or be a big of a functional page. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. In other words, I don't have to have a pocket on it or a belly band or a flip or whatever. This can just be decorative, um, especially since you first open this book up. You know, open up, open it up to that. Now I think it needs a little bit of. Oh, spunk. I don't know what I want. A little bit of jazz here. I have some little pearls. I thought I got here. I have some pearls. Maybe um, a pearl or two might be okay on that. Let's see. I feel like there's still something it needs. What can we do? Print some of this. I think that would kind of be pretty. Give it a little bit of flowers. I don't want to use the whole thing. I think just part of it. Let's take it from here. Yeah, we'll do it like that. I think it looks bad like that. Here, just just a little bit more interest color, so it doesn't so. I don't know what the word I want to use is. I think this will give it a more finished, tight in look. And these are kind of big pearls, but you know, still maybe I'll do one. Okay, we'll, we'll do one of these pearls. Now, it does have adhesive on it. I don't always trust the adhesive, so I always put just a dollop of glue. And I'll put that little pearl like right there, I think. There. That's pretty cute. And then we can always go around the edges of this page and with um 
and just ink it up a little. Just, just to grunge it up just a little. I don't always like a lot of grunge. It just depends on the project. Some projects I don't care for any grunge. But anyway, so, so far we have today, we have decorated the first opening page of our book, or journal. We've made a pocket and a belly band, which I might jazz this up a little more. Um, in the pocket, I'll jazz up a little more. I'm just not sure what I want to do with it yet. I'll have to think on it. And then we did glue um, one of these center pages, this little page here. We made a pocket out of that, and I might decorate something on this side as well. But today, we did some basic things. Just wanted to start out with decorating this book. If anybody has any ideas or having want to see how to do something in particular, just leave it in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to answer any any questions that you might have. Now I might decide, like my next video, I might decide to do like different pockets, um, different ideas on pockets. Um, you know, just instead of just the, the plain old ones, because there are a variety of different pockets, and I could show you some of those. I was thinking about doing that. I did have something else here I wanted to try today. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Um, one of these printables, it just has these flowers in it. I think you're supposed to cut them and just, you know, glue them on a page in the corner. But I left the extra the white paper, and so I folded it over to, like this because I thought it, it would make a really cute corner tuck. I don't know about put it on this page in particular, but we could put it on a different one while I'm thinking about it before we go. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do it on this page and then we'll jazz this one up more next time. We we'll just do this one little thing. I don't want to make this video too long. So, we'll do this. Just something a little different. Just nice. When I was cutting this out, I thought, oh, that would be kind of cool to use it as a corner tuck. And then see how it's got a little bit more room, so just laying flat. So you can just tuck in a German card or whatever that you might want to, to um, tuck in there. This is a bigger one. Let's see. And then I'll find some cute cards in that to put in there. And then, like I said, we'll jazz this up a little more next time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Lori, the Crafter in the Mitten, and I would appreciate it if you did subscribe um, and hit the like button or the not like button, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, um, again, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions or there's something you want me to watch me make. Just let me know below. Thank you. Bye.